Okay, I want to welcome a young man to the studio this morning who uh, has written a book entitled Good Mood Food. And uh, if ever the country needed good mood, uh, he, now is the time. His name is Donald Skeehan. Donald, good morning. Good welcome. morning. How are you? Uh, very good. I, I say young man, it always sounds very patronising thing to say, but, <laughs> but what age are you, just so we I'm know? I'm 23. 23, and you've put together a cookbook, which is yes, great. And yeah. you're, you're pictured on the front of it with a backdrop of? Of Hoth, where I'm from. I've the homeland. Grown up there. The homeland, exactly. The homeland, the mother country <laughs> behind you there. Why, why, why a cookbook? A young man at 23, it's unlikely. Well, I mean, that's, that's it. I mean, not many people of my age would be doing this sort of thing, but it is a huge passion of mine, and I've been cooking cooking from a young age. Um, my mum and dad own a fruit and vegetable company called Fresh Cut Foods in Dublin, so we always had a f- well-stocked uh, fridge at home, and I would have learned from osmosis and, you know, picking up things as we go along. And that's essentially how I think people should learn, because, you know, home cooking is the way of life. And um, uh, my aunt's a food stylist as well, so I would have learned a lot of food photography and painting chickens' bums and things like that. Well, what is a food st- stylist? A food stylist, okay, say you have um, an ad... Uh, for food, basically, yes. they will they will kind of make the the food in the ad look very pretty. Oh, make it look edible. So exactly. it's like the, the Big Mac, which exactly. doesn't look anything like the actual no, product. No, no, not at all. It's yeah. not the piece of ham that you get. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's thrown in there. Um, so you you mentioned that your folks were in the fruit and veg business. So yeah. whatever about your level of commitment to their job? I mean, did you did you go into the the Smithfield market at half six in the morning? Were you that dedicated? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It was earlier than that. Now really? I was dragged in about four a.m. on uh, during my summer summers off from school. So um, absolutely. I mean, that was that was brilliant. I mean. My dad is hugely passionate about what he does, so um, I remember him just showing me things. Again, back then, there'd be things that you wouldn't get in all the supermarkets that you get like now. So, I mean, it's uh, they had an amazing array of fruit and veg, and I don't, I mean, Smithfield doesn't operate as, as huge as it used to, but, yeah. uh, I mean, that was amazing as a kid. So, you're in a band as well. Yes. Right, that's the industry. Industry, yeah. And industry have had quite a good deal of success, in fact. Yeah, and it's only this year now we've kind of hit the market but uh, it's and I've got your single here who are the others because I mentioned I was laughing saying god your one looks like um, Cheryl Crow or Cheryl, Cheryl Cole Crow. I keep saying Cheryl Crow <laughs> Cheryl Cole uh, who I'm mildly obsessed with at the moment really? and, and are you um, and you said everyone keeps saying that but you don't see it so yeah. who's she it's uh, Morgan Dean Lee Hutton and Michelle McGrath so that's your gang that's me gang will we have a little flavour of what it is you do yeah absolutely every time I Aren't you out there and giving John and Edward a kick up the pants? I know. You know are you watching those guys? I'm watching, but you know what? I have to say it's entertaining. It is. It that's is. why they're there. That's the only reason I've tuned into the X Factor is I those know. lads. I mean, yeah. it's it's a little bit boring I said, this Simon year. Simon Cowell said last night, he said, you remind me of The Exorcist. I watched it once and I knew <laughs> I had to watch it over and over again. See, that's it. You know, it's just entertaining. <laughs> it, it is entertaining. But that's the kind of music you're doing. How do, do you have a pigeonhole for that music? Do you know, like, how do you describe it? Is it um, is well, we're, we're kind of doing everything at the moment. We, I mean, the first single was pure pop and this is kind of more of a ballad but the single after this again when we're, we're actually planning to release in the UK um, yeah. is mu- hugely different um, and it's got a much more of American pop feel too so, okay, to so, so you're, 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 you're happy, we're venturing you're pop band yes you're happy to say so ah, yeah, you're yeah. not trying to say you know, we're, no we're, no we're, Leonard Cohen is our music <laughs> no, no no actually in fairness Lee is a Lee is an amazing musician he's a he's a great guitar player and he write, he's actually written that song as well So and you have a Swedish girlfriend I do I, yes okay I presume she's very pretty she is very yeah. pretty. Okay, She's lovely. so do, was she attracted? Obviously attracted to you, but do you think that it was the band cool thing, or was it the food cool thing that that made you cool for her? Um, I think it was just me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now you have to hold that humility for a second right. and answer the question. <laughs> well, actually, um, the band hadn't started at that stage. It was all about the food. Okay. Um, so yeah, I think she she's a fan of a of a home cooked meal. So uh, and are you able to prepare all the mackerel she'd required or herring? I should say the herring she'd oh need. My Sorry, God. not mackerel. The it, Swedish herring. Yeah. What? Yeah. How, the herring doesn't come in there's not just the one way to no I actually have a story about this um, okay. I worked uh, briefly as a chef in um, in Sweden in Ellsborg Festning in um, just in a little island off Gothenburg uh, which was the most random situation to end up in but um, it was an amazing experience and I worked there for um, the Christmas buffet which is called the Yule Board over there and um, one of the things that was my job was to empty out these herring this Swedish herring and they had every different type you could imagine they had curry herring they had uh, just 
unbelievably big amounts of herring and it was disgusting. Okay. <laughs> it sounds pretty. Have you seen Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs yet? No, I have films. Okay, they, they have a similar uh, scenario there where there's only one type of food available right. and they, as you say, it's curried and it's, oh, it's given uh, every, every treatment. Um, <laughs> What, what happened to cup, uh, to to buns and fairy cakes? You know the way they keep calling them cap cupcakes now. Cupcakes. 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 Um, and they 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 look so manufactured with their big splurge of icing on the top of it. Yeah. But where, what happened to the buns? Well, this is it. I mean, a bun. I mean, a cupcakes are really just a good good bun, basically. You I know, know. <laughs> but they become... moved on. But do you know what they? Of all the things I make, um, and especially I write the the Good Mood Food Blog dot com and. Of all the things, I try and keep it simple, healthy, and the recipes to be healthy, but uh, of all the things I make on it, um, the cupcakes and thing, the sweet stuff always gets the always, huge reaction. Yeah. I mean, it's unbelievable, but the cupcakes are a huge thing, and uh, they're definitely in fashion at the moment. Okay, well, I'm still, well, I'm just a big fan <laughs> of the bun, uh, <laughs> of so bun. To speak, but that's going to sound just odd. Uh, you also have, uh, I saw that, I looked, uh, soft-boiled egg and and uh, homemade fries. Yeah. You know, soft-boiled egg is, is an art in itself exactly, to get that right. Yeah, yeah. You have to, you have to do it really well. And what about um, other fellas? And uh, what, what's their attitude to what, what to, to your food fetish? Well, I think, I mean, a lot of my friends wouldn't be cooking at my age, um, but they are hugely interested. In, and uh, like, I would encourage people who haven't cooked before to try and get into the kitchen. I mean, the recipes that are in the book and that are on the blog um, are all simple. And you know, if you haven't cooked before, I'd, I'd urge you to venture in to the kitchen and give it a shot because it is easy and it does uh, wonders for the girls. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, to, to cook your way into a woman's heart. Exactly, to, why not? Towards her heart, I should suppose. And, and is it possible to make a living out of it yet, do you think? Or um, it? it's uh, I have a toss-up between the two at the moment, uh, between the band and the book, um, but I thoroughly enjoy both and um, I'm struggling at making a living with it, but... Uh, Definitely, but, it's but worth it. all in good time. Yes. But you've got you've got a good face for TV. You're like you 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 you'd be good, you could be the Jamie Oliver of Irish television. Well, yeah. Somebody should consider that. <laughs> uh, you know? Well, I'm looking into it. I'm looking into it. Yeah, but, that, uh, that makes sense. Definitely, it'd be something I'd be interested in, in looking after. Okay, is everything you say? Your book's uh, subtitle is uh, "Simple, Healthy Home Cooking." Is there anything not healthy? Anything I like in it? I mean, there, <laughs> without oats and nuts. Now, I heard that you uh, had a fondness for uh, banana bread. Well, I yes, but yes. I'm I, I've heard this. <clears throat> but yeah. I bet. You, well, uh, well, hang on. The most controversial thing about banana bread is whether or not you want to put nuts in it which I refuse to do you put nuts in it? I don't good man I okay. don't okay. but actually I make blueberry and banana uh, healthy muffins they're in the book on the breakfast I section I saw that yeah that um, so they might take your fancy and they're easy enough to make but um, definitely there is a few naughty ones I mean with any simple, with any healthy kind of cookbook, you have to kind of do things in moderation. And there is a few um, naughty ones in there. My Swedish cinnamon buns, they're one of the things I picked up when I was over there. And they're absolutely delicious. If you haven't tried them, you have to give so them a go. Cookies absolutely. and cream chocolate chip Oreo cupcakes, that's going to drive people around the twist. Uh, great. Well, look, thank you for coming in to see us this morning. And Donald, and, and the best luck with the band. Thanks a million. And if anyone industry. wants, we're launching the book on Wednesday in Dubray Books on Grafton Street at 6.30. So if anyone wants to come down, there's details up on the blog, the goodmoodfoodblog.com. So come on down and have a look. And you can hire, you can uh, have um, buns and cupcakes. There might be buns and yeah. cupcakes and maybe fairy cakes too. And fairy cakes. There's <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Especially exactly. with the little wings and the cream oh, on top. Yes. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Donald Skeen, uh, the, good food, the good mood food blog com. if people want to partake in that. Thanks for your time, Donald. Thanks good luck with everything. Nice to talk to you. This is The Chopper Show. Back to